In the vast expanse of the cosmos, before time itself was a concept, there existed a silent, swirling sea of gas and dust. Within this nebulous cloud, an unseen force, gravity, began to weave its intricate tapestry. This is the tale of how our Earth came to be. Billions of years ago, in a galaxy not so different from our own, a star ended its life in a spectacular supernova. The explosion scattered elements across the universe, seeding the nearby clouds of gas and dust with the ingredients for new worlds. Among these clouds was a particularly dense region that began to collapse under its own gravity. As the cloud contracted, it spun faster and flattened into a spinning disk. In the center of this disk, matter coalesced to form a new star, our Sun. Surrounding this newborn star, the remaining material formed a protoplanetary disk. Tiny particles within the disk collided and stuck together, forming clumps that grew larger over time. These clumps became planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. Amidst the chaos, one particular region in the disk began to show promise. It was a dance of collisions and accretions, where planetesimals collided and merged, growing ever larger. This was the early formation of our Earth. Over millions of years, these collisions generated immense heat, causing the young planet to become molten. During this molten phase, heavy elements like iron and nickel sank to the center, forming a dense core, while lighter elements rose to the surface, creating a primitive crust. As the Earth's surface cooled, a solid crust formed, and volcanic activity began to shape the landscape. Outgassing from these volcanoes released water vapor and other gases, creating a primordial atmosphere. Meanwhile, in the far reaches of the solar system, icy comets and asteroids began to rain down on the young Earth. These celestial bodies brought with them water and organic compounds, further enriching the Earth's surface. Over time, the bombardment decreased, allowing the planet to cool and stabilize. In this relatively stable environment, the Earth's crust continued to evolve. Tectonic plates shifted and collided, forming continents and mountain ranges. Oceans began to fill with water, creating vast bodies of life-sustaining liquid. The stage was set for the next great chapter in Earth's history. As the Earth cooled, it developed a magnetic field, generated by the movement of molten iron in its core. This magnetic field shielded the planet from harmful solar radiation, allowing for the development of a more stable atmosphere. This atmosphere, rich in water vapor, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, began to interact with the sunlight, creating weather patterns and climates. In the shallow, sunlit waters of the early oceans, complex molecules began to form. These molecules, fueled by the energy from volcanic vents and lightning, started to assemble into more complex structures. Eventually, these structures gave rise to the first simple life forms, microbes that thrived in the primordial soup. Over billions of years, these simple organisms evolved, adapting to their environment and diversifying into a myriad of life forms. Photosynthetic bacteria emerged, releasing oxygen into the atmosphere and paving the way for more complex life. The Earth's biosphere began to flourish, creating a delicate balance between the living and non-living components of the planet. Today, as we look up at the night sky and contemplate our place in the universe, we are reminded of this grand tale. The origin of the Earth is a story of cosmic collisions, elemental dance, and the relentless march of time. It is a story that continues to unfold, with each new discovery adding another chapter to our understanding of the planet we call home.